The Canadian Karting Championship on TSN is brought to you by Jim Russell Karting Academy. By Da Vinci Foods. And by Door Doctor. On another wonderful weekend here in Mont-Tremblant at this great karting circuit, we say hello, Canada, and welcome back to our continuing coverage of the Canadian Karting Championship. Always a pleasure to work beside a former Canadian champion, Norm Trottier. Coming up, we're going to be looking at the minis and the DD2s. DD2s, always exciting. They are the fastest. They are the direct drive. They are two-speed. And when we talk about familiar names there, two-time world champion, Pierre-Luc Roulette. And then, of course, Nicholas Latifi, who's already made a jump up to Formula 3 in Italy. Ah, but there are a couple of new names. Ben Cooper from Great Britain has decided he's coming to Canada to try and compete against the Canadian driver. Former world champion, definitely a man to consider for today's final. Christophe Boisclair, Robbie Shaw, who won the pre-final, is going to be hard to beat. In the minis, familiar names. Di Francesco, the defending champion. Matt Zaffaro, always a challenger. Ah, there too, though, we have a brand new name and someone to pay close attention to. Nathalie Quentin, only his second season in karting, has dominated the heat races, but Matt Zaffaro, Di Francesco are not far. Di Francesco had to come from the back because of a technical issue. This final is going to be far from over. And that's where we're going to start with the minis. And here is the starting grid. Gianfranco Mazzaferro on pole in his last year of Minimax. What do you expect the difference to be? Well, obviously much, much, much more competition. There's going to be a lot of, uh, like, battles. And right. But the power difference in the card is going to be different too, right? Not that much. I mean, it, there is, they take the restrictors off our minis, but... I mean, I don't really see a difference between the juniors. I mean, there's obviously, you go much faster, but... Makes it sound easy, doesn't he? Inside row two is J.P. Hutchison of Toronto from Oak Cliff, Manitoba, Stephen Batchelor. Inside row three, Blanville, Quebec's Thierry Cote. And from Burlington, Ontario, outside is cart number 188, Alexander Murphy. Joe Serrano of Mississauga, Ontario, first year of minis, inside row four. From Manitoba is Garrett Gulichin, outside row four. But outside row two is the 2011 national mini champion, Devlin De Francesco. You race in Europe, you race in the States, you race here. What are you learning? Well, in Europe, it's a lot more aggressive, and you learn a lot more from Europe than you would here. But you still learn quite a bit here, but you learn a lot more in Europe. The racing is a lot more competitive. It's a lot more aggressive. More aggressive how? Overtaking, overtaking-wise. Tell me about the rivalry with, with uh, Matt Zaffaro. Uh, I think it's going to be a really good race between me and him, and uh, we just got to wait to see what happens. Thank you very much. Inside row five, a former Quebec Rookie of the Year, Natel Quentin. It's really nice to meet you. I've heard nothing but really good things about how far you've come in a very short time. How long have you been driving? It's my second year racing and it's my third year uh, doing karting and it's like my favorite sport. And I mean, are you surprised at how good you've become so quickly or are you working at it? Yeah, I'm real surprised. Like. I don't even know I was good at this, so... So uh, tell me, okay, you're a Rookie of the Year last year. How much have you been working, and what have you been working on? Uh, I work a lot of time, like, to my chassis and with my coach, Keith, and with my team at Surrey Karting, and it's really great. So when are you coached, what are you being coached on? What are the kind of things that you have to do... You know, if, you, if you're a hockey player, you go out and you skate around the pylons and you take shots on the goalie. What kind of things do you practice as a carter? You practice, like, the line for, like, the better at apex mm -hmm. so you can go faster in the corner and, like, get better time, better time, and edges the chassis, like. Beside Natel, outside row five from Uxbridge, Ontario, Austin Riley. Inside row six, Jeff Fulham of Winnipeg. From Terrebonne, Adams Lessard is in the number 12 spot. Samuel Lupien is on row seven. Charles Robin and Gianluigi Pallego will round out the field of 15 carts here in this 
Minimax designation. 10 to 13 year old Snorm, 14 horsepower. Exactly, Fig. What's interesting about the Minimax class is the organizers decide what jet they have to run in the carburetor, and everyone is running the same gear, so they've really narrowed this down to make it as even as possible for the driver. Did you see that little look by Gianfranco Mazzaferro as he just looked over to his left? to uh, give maybe a little stare to Devlin DeFrancesco. I suspect they're going to be doing some staring back and forth throughout this event. They'll probably be staring at each other's back bumpers as I expect to see a lot of passing between them. They're very close in time. Joe Serrano, the number 108, currently in seventh place. He was second in the micros, the step just before this level. So this is his first year of mini. And now you see Charles Robin also in the field, Gianluigi Palego field of 15. Nadal Conte very fast in qualifying in the pre. He's had a big incident in uh, pre-final, and that's what's setting him back right now. So here they are, gathered up two by two, as we ride along, looking up at the field in the cart 108. That's Joe Serrano. That camera is on the Talcantins cart. Here they go, coming around. There's the starter has the green flag in his hand. This is the Mini Max, the Canadian Championships. We started on the back straight, going into turns 15, 16. Here we go. There's Serrano. There's the green flag. We're underway here at Montremblant. Rotax Mini Max final. Is everyone going to get? Oh, Adams Lass Yes, Adams Lassard has been pushed off on the outside. Oh, poor break for Adams. And there's. We get the little bumping at the back, tricking to the front of the field. Matt Zaffaro, De Francesco, Hutchison, one, two, three. Conte again here tries on the inside to get another competitor. No, it doesn't make it stick. Very important to note that this year, we, apart from Adams, we had a very nice clean start. And if you're Cantin, how aggressive are you right this moment? Well, the thing is with the Minimax drivers, they just want to pass, go to the front. They're not maybe the greatest at strategy. You understand, they're just so young. Oh, looking to the outside, swinging his way back, trying to get just a little bit ahead. Devlin DeFrancesco, the 177, has taken the lead over Mazzaferro. And right behind him, well, of course, Matt Zaffaro and J.P. Hutchinson, his third, is sticking right behind Matt Zaffaro. So Matt Zaffaro looking back, J.P. Hutchinson in that white helmet. Here he goes, down the back straight. Matt Zaffaro bouncing it up and down, trying to get a little bit of bite going into 15. Inside, little bump, still can't get by him into 16. Oh, and all the while they're doing that, the Telcatan trying to make a move up, trying to get by the 2080 of Alexander Murphy. They're going into corner one. Matt Zaffaro is still in front. No, Devlin DeFrancesco is not in front of Matt Zaffaro. Unbelievable DeFrancesco. Matt Zaffaro, we expect it to be a battle. Looking inside, outside, trying to hold him off. All about clean lines now if you're DeFrancesco. Absolutely, and if the drivers used a little bit of strategy, maybe they'd try, try, try and stay behind each other and pull away from the field, but I don't think so. They're going to try and pass each other at every corner. Look at the little bump, little nudge, maybe trying to just push him out of the way if he can. Maybe a little bit of NASCAR bump and run going on here as Matt Zaffaro trying to close in. They're coming down the back straight one more time. Looking for the draft. Here he goes, inside, going into 15. Has he got him this time? Ah, uh, yes, he does. Oh, Devlin tried to hold him on the outside. Not a wise move, but he's still there in second place. And Hutchison, of course, just laying back in third. Hutchison has a look to the inside of De Francesco. Natal Catan trying to chase down Serrano, and he's caught him. Yeah, he made the pass going into corner one, now up into fifth place. Is he pushing too hard? We'll see later. They call it mini, but this is maximum excitement here at the Canadian Karting Championships on TSN. Welcome back to Mont-Tremblant, what has been a wonderful start to this Mini Max Canadian Championship. Gianfranco, Matt Zaffaro, and Devlin DeFrancesco, 1-2, have traded the lead back and forth and hanging right in there. J.P. Hutchison, and then there's Thierry Cote right there as well. They're passing each other so often, I have a hard time to see who's in first place, but we see our top five back-to-back, -back, Stephen ba Bachelot in sixth. All right, if you haven't been and watched this before, the bouncing up and down is for what reason? 
In Minimax, they're, uh, they're trying to get a little bit of weight off of the rear axle. The engines are limited in horsepower, and this is a little technique they use. Oh, there he goes. Uh, Francesco goes inside. Oh, and look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Hutchison has taken advantage, gotten by Mazzaferro, too. Mazzaferro in third, and that is Thierry Cote in fourth, and Nathalie Cantin still in fifth. Oh, and look at Cote now looking inside. Mazzaferro, pole sitter, under all kinds of pressure now, has fallen back to third place. And a little bit like NASCAR, when you got five in a row like that, the guy who's leading is at a bit of a disadvantage because everyone's got the draft. Getting a little sideways. You saw Hutchison from Toronto just get that back in, just a little light, just a little loose. Matt Zaffaro ready to jump all over him. You look like Hutchinson may have made a bit of a mistake going into the hairpin. Can Matt Zaffaro take advantage of it down uh, the street? Here he goes inside, going inside. Matt Zaffaro will take back second place. Oh, very lucky. We had a little bit of contact behind between Matt Zaffaro and JP Hutchinson, but everything's clear, and Di Francesco has edged out a bit. This is Conte on the inside of Cote. Can he make it stick? No, oh, nice he move. can't. Let's remember now, this is a young man just in his second year of karting. Natel Cantin, rookie of the year, also does Marshall martial arts trying to maybe karate his way through his dad is a martial arts instructor and the physical conditioning he's learned from his dad is going to help out so we've got Di Francesco in first followed by Matt Zaffaro then it's Hutchison then it's Cote then it's Cantan great oh look at Matt Zaffaro all over him again Di Francesco has to be very smooth with his steering wheel you see coming out of the hairpin very smooth didn't really make a mistake I doubt the that Matt Zaffaro will be able to make a move. Oh, oh under doubt, you doubter, you. You doubter, you. Here he comes, Matt Zaffaro. Oh, you doubted him, and he puts it, makes it stick, going through 15, through 16. And you have, once again, Matt Zaffaro back in front. Oh, no. Here he comes, E. Francesco, going inside. Look at Hutchison trying to take advantage. Not this time. Then Cote is there. Cantown, what a battle for three, four, and five. Vic, we can't keep our eyes off of the track right now. From one corner to the next, there seems to be a new leader all the time. Di Francesco, followed by Matt Zaffaro. They are 1-2. Hutchison, Cote, Cantac. Great battle for the lead. Great battle for two, for three, four, and five. Matt Zaffaro again having another look, all the while pressing that back bumper of Di Francesco. Absolutely. And it is going to come down to who can save his tires and have what he needs on the last up. Here he comes again. And he loves this back straight. One more time. Are you going to doubt him again? No doubting him this time as he gets by going into 15. Thierry Cote is off and in the grass. Looks like there was a collision between him and Cote. Here in Montreal Blanc. We welcome you back to the Canadian Carding Championships here on TSN. What has been an absolutely wonderful, wonderful Minimax final. Matt Zaffaro, Di Francesco, and J.P. Hutchison out of Toronto. And Norm, the front two, Matt Zaffaro, Di Francesco, have traded the lead back and forth. But finally, now, the consistency of Matt Zaffaro paying off. He's been able to pull out a little bit of a lead. Been extremely consistent in these last four laps within one tenth of each other. Devlin Di Francesco, if he overheated his tires, his chassis might be sticking, and that's going to prevent him from catching Match of Farah. And we can see JP Hutchinson on the penultimate lap, still in third place. Your little tribute to uh, the great Formula One broadcaster Murray Walker. Final lap now for Gianfranco Mazzaferro, followed by Devlin Di Francesco. And J.P. Hutchison looking back, and there he is currently in third. No, sorry to correct you, Vic. I don't see Hutchinson anymore. Where did he go? J.P. Hutchinson has fallen off on the last lap, and that would put Steven Bacciallo in third place. Where did he go? What a surprise as uh, from Oak Bluff, Manitoba, Bacciallo has moved into third spot, but it's all Matt Zaffaro now, followed by Di Francesco, and we'll have a look for J.P. Hutchinson. The last hairpin here before the main, the big long straightaway, two more corners to go. Will this right. be Matt? He's back, gone. He's gone. The white helmet of J.P. Hutchison has disappeared. Well, Vic, like they say, it's never over till it's over. Absolutely not. Who's your winner? Here he is, checkered flag for Jim Franco, Matt Zaffaro. He is the Mini Max Canadian champion. 
Incredible, finishing third last year. His parents must be so excited. We have a little collision here with Conte, who I believe now is in eighth place. Not a good finish for him. Stephen Bachelot in third. Alexander Murphy fourth. Jeff Fulham fifth, who started near the back of the pack. And Thierry Cote, who was involved in a couple of battles, falls back as well. Joe Serrano's in there. Jeff Fulham. Those are your results in the mini match of the Canadian Karting Championship as the checkered flag goes to a wonderful young man, Gianfranco Mazzaferro, in his final year of mini max. He'll move up to junior next season. There's Natel Cantan. He had moved up, had done so well to move up to, into battling for fifth spot. And there is J.P. Hutchison falling back after battling for third place, falls back to finish in 13th. But your mini-max champion of Canada is Gianfranco Mazzaferro.